welcome everyone thank you so much guys for tuning in for my devotional today i'm going to talk about how to face your fears how i faced my fears when i was planning to come this side so when i decided that i want to be part of ignite i had already applied my passport so some of you know that to obtain a passport in zimbabwe it's hard it's a long process to get your passport so i was supposed to get my passport on the first of january and ignite was going to start on the 21st of january that was okay with me and i was so very happy that i'm going to finally i'm going outside of the country and i'm going to study outside of the country so uh, my passport was delayed and in that process of waiting for my passport that's when fear started speaking in my life it was like someone's physically speaking to me saying that what makes you think that you're good enough to go to south african study what makes you think that you're you are going to be um the person where people are going to like what makes you think that you are going to fit in in whatever people that will be doing that side and come to think of it look into your family who has gone outside of the country to study no one yet you want to go outside of the country to study you want to be the first one to change your family so i was battling and asking myself and asking god also if it was really god's will for me to come to south africa so in my process of asking God and praying to God, that's when uh, God revealed to me on the 25th of February, this scripture, uh, Deuteronomy 31 verse 8, which says, He will never leave you nor forsake you. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. So I was asking God, God, what are you trying to say? It's not like I'm seeing any progress in my passport and Ignite has already started. It's not like I'm going to catch up with what people have already learned when i was and i was in the then god kept on reminding me with this verse saying that you never leave you know forsake me do not be afraid do not be discouraged then uh on the 26th of february that's when i received a call from the person who was processing my passport saying that your passport is now out please come and get your passport i was so very well very happy and overwhelmed i was thinking why but also i was so sad because i was so very very scared to come this side alone i i know no one this side and how I was how was i going to cope with everyone so that was my fear but i was able to conquer that fear with the power of god with the grace of god god was there to stand by me and encourage me so today i just want to encourage you guys that whenever you are fearing a situation or an emotional challenge just know that god is there with you he will never leave you is by your side just ask for easy help or just call upon to him he will be there and he will answer you you just need to listen and be patient so some of my lowest and most painful moments in my life have been also my closest times with god so whenever i'm sad or whenever i feel lonely i just run to god and ask god is what to do and please god comfort me that's when uh i remember when i was in my uh this other day in my room i cried in silence no one knew that i was crying after a brutal breakup i was asking god what is this lord why did you let this happen why did you let me fall for this then god i felt something different like never before i felt the comfort of god and his power upon my life then i realized that you never leave me whatever you did in my life was to make me stronger and to be a better person so guys to end with i just want to uh give you this encouragement keep on fighting keep on conquering your fears sometimes fe fear needs to be punched in the throat so that it will know that you are god's child you are chosen and god has his purpose to close with i, I have this first and the scripture says uh romans 8 28 says that and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who, who love him who have been called according to his purpose i just want to tell you that god god called you he called you and he has a purpose and you have a purpose in in your life so, so just keep on holding to god and all will be well you'll be able to conquer your fears thank you so much guys i hope you're encouraged by my t testimony thank you bye